guys welcome back so if you hear me speaking just a little bit lower than usual or if you've heard i changed my value um in some videos it's because i'm usually in the dressing room area and savannah's nursery is right next to it so most likely i've put her down for bed i hear squeal a little bit because she's self-soothing but she's okay I'm to continue my weekly vlog with you guys so basically it's sunday and yesterday we went to waco texas we went to the silos and it was so nice but it was so packed because it was the end of their spring market so yeah we had a great time i picked up some things but i didn't pick up any home decor necessarily it was super packed and i just feel like i couldn't enjoy the decor section i picked up things that like um how do you say it shows that i went there like stuff with like magnolia on it i'll show you guys in a second two yards are here in my dressing room area so i think in a vlog that hopefully you'll see before this i'm just so off with what i've recorded i'm a hot mess but i mentioned that i was gonna start redecorating our master bedroom and as well as continuing with our dressing room i actually ended up mentioning i think like last weekend that I was gonna fix this whole room and I happened to do it by Tuesday so I'll probably show you guys this later or maybe now since I'm already in here if I'm wearing light but the connection doesn't work because of course in Italy I was constantly connecting it to the converter so yeah I think I'm gonna have to get a ring light but let's jump in I do want to show you guys one thing that I have here because I'm probably gonna put it on my hand right now so I did go to their Via Bien, I'll put the name here, and it's one of the stores they have permanently at the silos, and it is from Los Poblanos. It was established in 19, 1934. This vision, guys. I think it says 1934. So it's a lavender salve. So this is what it looks like, and this is their size small, which I thought was pretty decent. So I'll read you a little like backstory about it. It's Los Poblanos lavender fields are on historic farmland in the Rio Grande Valley with ideal conditions for growing the finest lavender. Since the first Spanish settlers, 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 since the first Spanish settlers brought lavender to a region centuries ago, it has been used for its soothing medicinal and aromatic properties. The salve is produced in small batches on site from an original recipe by owner Penny Rembe, I think that's how you say, and this is made in New Mexico. So I've been really looking for something to put on my knuckles. I think in some of my recordings, you guys will see how badly my knuckles are just super dry and super burned from the water here. So there was another salve that I wanted from a market here in town that comes on the weekends. But the small one is literally like, I think like a disc. It's made of shiitake mushrooms or some mushroom. And my parents were just sitting and looked. It was amazing. I still consider purchasing it. But if I can find the picture of when my parents and I took, we bumped it on our hands and we took a picture because our hands looked brand new. I'll put it here. But yeah, so I wanted something. And this is just way big. This was just like way bigger and I love lavender smell. I think it's oh, just so good. So this was AT dipped my freaking nails in there just because... I don't know i feel like you have to get it like going a bit i'm just gonna rub it and then you just like rub it on and oh. i put this before bedtime oh my god it was felt so good so yeah so i bought this but they had like hand sanitizers they had queens and stuff like that so i was actually looking at their site because Waco, Texas was about almost three hours from us and that was, I don't know, the ride there wasn't too bad but I guess just coming home you're tired after the whole day so yeah, let me just put this on because it just smells so good so yeah, you see, I definitely like this the other one from the market that I was mentioning is more of a greasier feel this one I feel like after a while it kind of just like soaks in so I don't know. I may just buy both of them. You can never have enough of these like salve. I think that's how you say it. Cause, yeah, I think that's how you guys say it. <laughs> so yes. So the rest of the bags are downstairs. So I'll do a quick 
dressing room tour with you guys and then we'll head downstairs to show you guys the rest of the stuff one of the items was I did wear it today so I'll probably take a picture of him or a quick video so I can insert in here so you guys can see I did pick up a t-shirt for him and he really liked it and it was really nice I actually really like it and I actually want to wear it too <laughs> my baby is fighting her sleep so much right now but I think it's because her morning nap and her nap was really long I actually have to wake her up so I was like girl you need to eat you need to see the sun <laughs> she's in there like Argh. I don't know if you guys will hear her, but yeah, let's show you guys the dressing area. Alright, so when you guys come in, the first thing that really bothered me was this centerpiece. It was super filled, things we weren't even using, it didn't look nice. So I had like a bunch of comforters up here, and they were all like the guest room comforters. So I had put those away because I was like, alright, there are no guests here right now. So basically... These are just like some, I think it's like two big blankets in here. I kept this because it's a nice little bag so it doesn't look weird. I put some more of like two extra white towels there and some, what are they called? Bathroom mats. Then like the foam roller, a yoga mat. In the back I have there in a little wire basket my runners and then steamer. Little lamb, my placenta pills. <laughs> Here we have just like dish towels and regular little towels. I had just purchased this for Savannah, so I just left it here because I need to put that away. In this cute basket, I put the same white towels, meaning by what I mean by this is they're the same brand. <laughs> So I kept that there. Here, these two baskets are from Target. If I can link them, I'll put them down below. I absolutely love these. I actually wanted to get another one, but I'll explain later. So I just put toilet paper here. So these are matches, uh, pillowcases and bed sheets, stuff like that. Just alongside as well is just matches. So it's two of the same towels. I'm currently using the orange one. So yeah, I have that there. Then here, it's basically little knickknacks but i wanted to make use of this basket but i'm really really considering on just purchasing another one of these to put here um just because i feel like it's overflowing and i don't like that and then here is just like my knickknacks my headbands my fan little things like those ipsy bags stuff like that i did put those pillows up there i don't mind them being there but i might put them away under the guest room bed here is basically where Jose had his little clothes rack, basically things he doesn't use. So I cleared that out. I'm going to take away all these mismatched um, hangers. And in that bag, it's a bunch of like underwear, my sports bras, and socks. So I needed something to put that in. So I purchased this little thing, which will eventually go here. So this is my some of my winter clothes. So this will go downstairs. I'll put that over here. This is stuff I need to take down. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. I might just keep it. But I'm planning to get like some nice velvet hangers or some wooden ones like the ones from Ikea. Yeah. This is where I have some of my shoes and my sandals. This tray. I just put my perfumes on here. And my I have to purchase this necklace for me. So I just have that there for now until I set up like my jewelry station. And I have my jewelry here. A candle letter m for my husband's last name and i have her bouncer in here just for now just because when i get ready i put her in that Let's see my vanity set up my camera set up my charger my computer's charging this is one of the new tier trays from bullseye section so i just have some things there brushes that's my next thing that i'm going to be working on is where i want to put my brushes mirror and the ultimate fridge of course above it's basically my hat and my handbags i also put all of my hot tools up there and i just have some little things that i think i'm going to incorporate into this room so i have these cans which i'm thinking about putting the brushes i had these mirrors that i had purchased a long time ago from um bullseye playground it's for five dollars for the pack or five dollars each that's what's going on up here it's my husband's stuff and then basically i just took stuff that was on the other rack and i put them here so these are my husband's shirts 
And as you guys can see, this is my stuff, Savannah's little tub. And then we have like our robes and our towels. And then over here, we just have some shoes. And this is my mommy look, guys. Super booming it. Let's go see what my crazy, crazy baby wants. Excuse me, lady. Why are you crying? You got a nap, my love. You don't want a nap? You don't want a nap? You don't want a nap. You don't want a nap, do you? You don't want a nap? You want to play? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> there. So I was recording to show them the shirt. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was like, oh, my husband's wearing a shirt. So when he gets home. Oh, okay. How do you like it? It's nice. It's a nice shirt. It fits good. Yeah. Wait one second. Grab her, but don't pull her. Ah, she grabs like the very itty bitty ones in the I was trying to put her to bed. So as you guys can see, it's a nice like green top. It's my husband's twin. <laughs> Say what you talking about? Welcome back. So I was showing you guys earlier Jose's shirt from Rico when we went to the silos. And I showed you also the I showed you guys the lavender salve that I had mentioned earlier. So I wanted to continue with the rest of our purchases. So there's three bags. So one is from the main store, Magnolia, which is like right at the entrance. And this one is from two of the shops that they had for their spring shops pop-ups. So with this one first. We ended up going to oh, I have to show you that too. That'll be interesting. So the last one was these really cute headband please so it's called simple beauty headbands you can find them on instagram facebook i ended up picking up three headbands for savannah the first one was this really cute floral one i absolutely love this i love that the back of it was white so i picked this one up and it has like the little knots that's what her aesthetic is this one i absolutely adore it's like this cute little chocolate chip pattern i thought this was so stinking cute and lastly my husband chose this one out with the little black stripes with the white backing onto it so we ended up picking these up these were three for twenty dollars and i thought it was really cute and i love the little tag as well on her headbands so it's really adorable the next shop that we saw was called Diorade. i hope i'm saying that right plant face dyed 100 percent cotton hand dyed in north carolina so this was actually this pretty silk piece so my reasoning for this was Savannah has been getting that bald spot the babies can get on the back of their heads when they're in their cribs or maybe like a dog -a and they're like constantly moving their heads so the friction so she has a bald spot and it's literally driving me insane so I looked more into it and they said you should get like a silk slip or something like that so currently obviously silk is not cheap so there's a site that actually sells them and their sleeves they run for 80 bucks this one actually was 38 for the piece. I thought it was great and it was actually a pretty decent size. I'm thinking of just putting this in her bassinet for now and then obviously transfer it to the crib later on. So I picked this one up of course so to support the small businesses. Back it says this item has been hand dyed with all natural plant based dyes. This can produce slight variations and unique imperfections to the piece making it one of a kind. I definitely liked this gold color. I thought it was really nice. They did have like a pink and a blue but I figured that the gold is more of a neutral color and yeah. So I picked this one up. You can definitely find them on Instagram, I think Facebook as well, if you guys are interested in purchasing from their little shop. All right, and the next business that we purchased from was Pretty Please Tea. I think they're sold in stores, not if I'm not mistaken, but I was really excited to actually see them at the pop-ups over there. <laughs> so yeah, so they're known for their teethers. I believe they had like even some silicone utensils, plates, bibs. So I ended up purchasing their Magnolia Wooded husband and the owner, of course. He told me that this style was unique to their pop-up for this week. So I was really excited. So it's gonna take her a while to kind of get used to this. The same when I had bought her the Mom Bella mushroom, but I thought this was so nice. I love the engraving. I love the cafe and white together, the contrast. It's very modern and that's what I like. So I did end up picking this piece up. Pretty like models and stuff. So I definitely consider checking them out if you're baby's TV. Savannah's getting to that point where she just wants everything in her mouth. So the Mambella mushroom has been magical. 
and I just wanted something modern. Really loved seeing the wooden aspect like teether. So we're gonna start off with the second bag, which is from the actual Magnolia store, the main one. Store. It's right at the entrance of the silos, and it has like all the like bases homeware stuff stuff like that and then towards the back by the register it's basically their like um branding stuff so sweaters shirts caps stickers let's see cups magnolia on it stuff like that so i did pick up the shirt for my husband which i'm not mistaken that was 28 dollars i did pick up myself a nice sweater so i'll show you guys now so I picked this up in a large, and this is their Magnolia Icons Terracotta Sweatshirt. So this is what it looks like. I absolutely love the color. This is what I was drawn to. It has the branding right there. Back, if I'm not mistaken, it is actual like silo background backdrop scenery. I think that's what it is. I just thought it was really cute, guys. And I absolutely loved the material of the sweater. I thought it was really nicely made. And yeah, so I picked this up and this was $54. Lastly, they were running a deal, which is like if you spent $75, you would get like a mug. If you spend $100, you would get this a mango cutting board, which is beautiful. I thought that was, I thought you had a choice. I didn't read it right, because if I would have known, I would have spent the 100 <laughs> but, So they ended up giving me the mug, which is perfectly fine. So this is a 12 ounce camp mug. It's actually really cute. This is what the camp mug looks like. I love this like tin can speckled look. I think it's so nice. So, and it also comes with the lid and the slide thing. Super nice. And this is the company that made them, M-I-I-R. So yeah, really nice cup. So this technically retails for $28. So I figured that was a good purchase or gift with your purchase I also ended up picking up one of their keychains i thought it was really cute i did find this a little expensive but i don't know i don't buy keychains like that so i would not know what a keychain costs i did pick this one up and it says the silos on it i really like the white and just the simplicity of the keychain and in their bag of course you get a brochure so definitely be checking this out to see if they purchase online because on the back they give you a discount code as well so that's exciting and the last purchase was at one of their stores in the little plaza area i can't pronounce the name to it so i'll just put it on here it's the store that i had purchased the lavender salve from they had the cutest robe so it is their sleep robe in this beautiful blush color so it reminds me a little bit of the target one but i feel like this is a way better quality and it is thicker like a sweater light sweater material so these are actually this actually retailed for $58, but they had it on sale for $40. So I ended up picking this one up. They did have it in a charcoal color as well. If you guys want to see a little snippet of what the store is, I do have it on my TikTok. So I'll put my handles here so you guys can go check it out. I did make a TikTok for their Magnolia home and for this specific store just because this was less crowded than the other stores that I had gone into. I need to record when I was there, but it was super packed. We had the dogs. The baby was a little bit cranky because she not feeling too good so yeah so i kind of had to just focus on that and being with my family but i was able to get those little snippets once she had kind of knocked out already i did get this one in a medium because i tried on the large when i was in the store because i was like i'm not driving back another like three hours here all right guys that is basically it from what we purchased at waco this weekend at the silos hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys have been to waco let me know let me know about the other spots i should visit other than the silos and i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm not sure if i'm gonna end this vlog here probably will let's see but just in case i do i hope you guys have a blessed and week once again don't forget to subscribe give this a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed my content for today and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.